Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another unboxing reel review. Today we're going to be talking about the brand new Shimano SLX DCXT, and we're going to be comparing it in a little bit different format. We're going to be comparing it to the brand new 2023 Shimano SLX DC. I know it's a little confusing. One is SLX DCXT, the other one is just a plain SLX DC. So which one is going to be best for you? But before we get into that, if you guys are looking to purchase a JDM reel, any JDM reel from Shimano, Abu Garcia, or, or Daiwa, check out digitaka.com. They are the lowest prices in the entire world, and rightfully so right now because the Japanese yen is actually weak against the US dollar, so therefore you're gonna be saving even more money. And just because you guys are loyal subscribers and you watch my videos for these reel reviews, I'm gonna hook you guys up with a discount code which will knock off a few more dollars off the already low price, and that discount code is 25C, which is 25 Charlie, and take advantage because it ends at the end of the year. And once again, if you click on this video and it's past the end of the year, just send me a DM via Instagram. Make sure you're following me at rx underscore angler, and I'll be more than happy to hook you up. But yeah, let's talk about this real review. Let's compare it to the SLX DC, which recently came out a couple a few months ago, and give it a good comparison. Let's go to the bird's eye view and check out this brand new bad boy today. Woo, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get this unboxing done. I wanna wish everyone a happy holidays. Um, <laughs> hope you guys are taking advantage and going fishing, but here we go, man. Super excited about this brand new reel from Shimano SLX DCXT. What, boy? Here we go, man. Look at that, bubble wrap really nice. Got some fishing line too, as always. Gonna put that to the side. And what do we have in the box here? We have some Styrofoam protection here. We got Digitaka Media guys. If you haven't yet, give them a follow on Instagram. Thank you so much, Digitaka. Let's put that to the side. And we have the items right here. Here we go, baby. Here we go, baby. Woo! Shimano SLX DCXT. This is the 70 version. If you guys didn't know, this is a smaller, low-profile reel. It's not a big 200 size like the Corrado is or the uh, Scorpion model. If you guys are not, uh, if you're not from the United States, you're watching this from overseas. You don't have a Corrado. It's it's not the size of this Scorpion. Once again, it's the size of a 70 model, which is actually really small, really palmable. But anyways, SLX DC. This is what you're going to get. A nice blue navy box. Has all the listings here. Is this made in Japan? A lot of you guys really care about that. Let's take a look here. And I don't think it's made in Japan because from my experience, the Shimano SLX has never been made in Japan. I want to bet it's made in Malaysia. It's not even saying here, but uh, let's see here. No, we don't see it. But anyways, we'll get to it. I'm pretty sure it says on the reel itself. Let's open up this bad boy and see what we get in the box. All right, we got some manuals. Shimano SLX DCXT in Japanese. We don't read Japanese, so you can put that to the side. Parts manual here, parts diagram, which once again, we don't care about either because we don't read Japanese and we know Shimano really doesn't break. <laughs> I'll put that to the side. And oh, have you noticed guys, Shimano doesn't include any oil like they used to be. Ever since COVID, I haven't really seen much oil. So whatever, it doesn't even matter. Let's go and unwrap this baby right here. There she is, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that, and I got it in a right-handed because I'm gonna start practicing my right-handed use. <laughs> I am technically right-handed, not left-handed, but I always use left-handed reels, but right-handed is something I wanna get into. But yeah, look at that, man, she looks great. Let's put everything up, and then we'll take a good look at the looks. All right, man, taking a hard look at the aesthetics of this new SLX DC XT. You probably guys are wondering, what is this? Right here, this is the brand new 2023 Shimano SLX, which we're gonna do a good comparison in just a moment, but I wanna take a look at the looks, the lines, the coloring, and I absolutely love, love the coloring. It's like a gunmetal gloss with small, I don't know, you can see a little bit of glitter in there. If you look at a certain lighting point, you can see it reflect off it. The lines are nice. It is a small, thin, narrow reel. Uh, What's well, designed to throw small lures. Man, the coloring is great. The handle, the tactile feel of the rubber is very, it's, it's grippy. It 
love the blue accents right there this is a very handsome looking reel and you can see guys it fits easily in the palm of my hand i have a size medium large hand just for reference so you guys know how big it is and it's not heavy at all it's actually a really well balanced reel and Back to the made in Malaysia thing, as I expected right there, it is made in Malaysia. It is not made in Japan. The SLX and the lower end model Shimano's, even though they're cheaper, I guess, or less, less expensive, they're not gonna be highly quality made in Japan type reels like you see in the Stella and the, and the uh, what else, the Calcutta, um, gosh, all the Baron, Metanium, those are all made in Japan because they're higher end, but man, don't sleep on this reel, man. This is really smooth, very well balanced. I mean, gosh, I love how that feels. If I mean, it can it can go head to head to a metanium for sure with smoothness. Does it have a drag clicker? Let's see. Up, oh, no drag clicker. Unfortunately, no drag clicker. I apologize. Shimano is not going to include a drag clicker in their lower end models to reduce costs. I guess maybe reduce weight. I don't know. I uh, wish they did, but unfortunately they don't. They don't. Maybe in the future generations they will. But yeah, this is a handsome, handsome looking reel. Let me see if I can get that focus better. There we go. It's a handsome looking reel. Love the coloring. Love the narrow lines. I mean, it looks really sharp. It looks small, right? It looks very small, and rightfully so. It is a, it is a small reel. 70 size reel, just above a 50, under a 100. I mean, it's a very small, pommable reel that, man, it's going to bring a lot of joy to a lot of people that use this on the water. Okay, now that we talked about the looks and we basked in its beauty, let's talk about what is the Shimano SLX DCXT? What is it built for? What what type of reel, what type of fishing, all that good stuff? So start off, basically if you're looking for a bargain versatile reel that's tough enough for saltwater inshore use and you want to throw small 3 16 up to 3 16th ounce or rather 3 16 ounce minimum or max 3 16 ounce lures all right which is really small uh, and you want to throw her heavier baits so basically a versatile reel once again look no further than the new Shimano SLX DCXT uh, yes I know it came out in 2022 and there's plenty of YouTube videos out there reviewing it but for some reason I just never bothered to have it on channel because I just never I don't know I guess I was just had a a brain block or something just never thought it'd been be important on my channel but after really reviewing it and really using the new Shimano SLX DC for 2023 I figured I want to try this out and rightfully so I think this is going to be a great great reel uh, it's been a great reel like I said it's been mostly sold out because it's one of Shimano's best-selling models to date because you're getting so much technology with this reel for you know, for the dollar. I mean, bang for buck. This is a very highly versatile reel that a lot of anglers just need one type of reel. This is going to be it. This is what they're going to look at. A technical versatile model, once again, that covers everything from lightweight lures to big baits. Uh, it has a new IDC5 unit straight from the Calcutta Conquest DC, which is their higher end full body metal. Uh, I wouldn't say low Bait, bait casting reel is a round bait casting reel. It's a conventional, traditional bait casting reel. But that IDC5 model they put into this bad boy right here. Let's go and open it up right here. In order to open this, you have to put this on open right there. You're going to push down the lever and then you're going to pull it out right there. And there she is. This is the IDC5 model, which has three options that you can customize depending on the type of line that you're going to be using. You can use fluoro. If you use fluoro, you're going to put it on the F right here. F, you can see it. If you're using nylon, you're going to put it on the N. And of course, if you're using PE or braid, you're going to put it on the P right there. And this is a highly intelligent electronic control brake unit straight from the Calcutta DC. This is a high-end unit right here. And it's been out for a while. I think the Calcutta DC has been out since 2019. So it's been out for a few years, but rightfully so. It's a great Great electronic braking unit and that's used in uh, I believe in the Antares DC too with a little bit more minor adjustments but anyways uh, yeah so we're gonna be using it on braid so I'm gonna switch this over to P right there give it that optimal braking there it is PCs arrows, arrows pointing to the P give it that optimal braking 
you have MGL Spool 3, as you can see here, and it's actually ported. That's one big difference compared to the SLX DC 2023 model that's that just Shimano just came out. That's the lower end compared to this model, which we're going to talk about the comparisons in a minute here. But as you can see, it's a ported MGL3 spool to give it more lightweight. It's very shallow. Therefore, you're, you're able to throw light lures as advertised right there. So let's go and put that to, back together. Okay, now let's take a look at the braking system right here. Once again, if you want to open it, you have to put on open. But what are all these numbers here? W, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now this is all part of the IDC5 uh, electronic braking system from the Calcutta DC. W right there, as you can see that right there. W means wind. So um, if, you if you're using a heavier bait and you're against, you have a lot of headwind, and obviously if you guys have been using bait casting reels, you know that if you have heavy wind, you're trying to cast your lure into the wind, it's going to bird's nest. There's a good chance it's going to bird's nest depending on how much braking you have, how much control you're using with your thumb and all that good stuff, the rod and the line that you're using. But sooner or later, it's going to, unfortunately, bird's nest. And Shimano has developed the W option right here to help, I guess, further alleviate that bird's nesting by con electronically controlling the brake unit inside. If you go to, to 4 right here, 4 is going to be used for lighter lures. I think seven to 10 grams, but anyways, I'm gonna have a list spec right here so you guys can follow along. Fours for lighter lures, three sixteenth ounce and a little bit higher. Three is gonna be more for crank baits, for spinner baits, I believe. Once again, the, the list is right here. I don't have it all memorized. Two, obviously, the, the higher or the lower number you get to, the heavier bait you're gonna be using and that's the way you control the bait, brake unit. Um, open, once again, that's just open the, <laughs> the side here. But anyways, yeah, a lot of different customizations for the price. I mean, this is such a bargain. It's a beautiful reel. I'm gonna have the specs listed right here. Sizes, once again, this is a 70 size reel. Reason why you see 70 and 71, it's a 70 reel, 71 mean left-handed, 70 being right-handed. So this is a 70 model gear ratio. You have 6.2, 7.4 and 8.1. I opted for the, what what gear ratio is this right here? I think it is 6.2 to one, but if you wanna go higher gear ratio, you can get up to 8.1. The weight of it is 6.87 ounces. You wanna round that up to 6.9 ounces. Drag force, you have 12.12 pounds of drag force, which is plenty, plenty enough to reel in those big old redfish. Ball bearings, seven plus one. It's not your typical four plus one or maybe three plus one that you get with over the rack cheaper reels. This is not a super, super cheap reel, but it is, a, it is Shimano's low cost in reel going up higher on the ladder, if that makes any sense. It's not gonna be a super cheap reel, but kind of like lower end, still affordable, but give you all the best tech that Shimano offers. For me personally, how I'm gonna be using this reel on my channel, I'm gonna be using it for paddle tail, small lures, light top water, small spoons, things like that. And I'm gonna be pairing it up with an old 18 kinetic light action rod. Let me show you that rod right now. I'm gonna be pairing it up with this bad boy right here, the kinetic from old 18. This is the light action casting rod, seven footer, very high quality and the price, man, you're gonna love the price on these rods, man. They're very cheap. Use my discount code RxAngler, save 15% off your order. Already the low price that it's at. I mean, it's a great, great rod to have and I'm gonna be pairing it up with this bad boy right here. All right, as I promised earlier in the video, we're gonna do a comparison versus the SLX DCXT and the 2023 Shimano SLX DC. Which one of these reels is gonna be better for you? We're gonna talk about the differences, so let's get right into it. Okay, number one, one of the differences is gonna be looks. As you can tell, if you look at the SLX DCXT, you can see on the top lines, it's much narrower, narrower, <laughs> compared to the SLX DC. If you put them together right there, the SLX DCXT below, it's, I would say, little, little more narrow compared to the SLX DC. The SLX DC to the top is a little bit wider. It has a wider open mouth on the top versus a sharper end right here on the SLX DC XT. I hope you guys can see that. Another difference between SLX DC XT and looks is that the SLX DC XT is gonna come with a chrome looking 
uh, brake release right there. As you can see the brake release button, the clutch button rather, and the SLX DC is in a matte black clutch button right there. Uh, that's not a big, big deal towards to me, honestly. I honestly prefer the matte black so it doesn't get all shiny with your fingerprints and all that, but that's just me. Uh, Color-wise, they're pretty much almost the same, to be frank. I know it's really hard to compare in the video right here, but with me directly looking at both right here, to me, it seems that the SLX DC2023 model is a hair bit darker compared to the SLX DCXT. Once again, I know it's a little bit hard to compare on the video, but you just gotta take my word for it. This looks darker, especially in different lighting. On the sides right here, the sides, it just looks black, where this looks gunmetal, if that makes any sense. And hopefully you be, you're able to see that if I can get the coloring right. Okay, so those are looks right there. Not a big deal. They both have the blue accents. Very handsome. 70XC Shimano, 71XG being left-handed Shimano right here. You can see the fonts right here on the side plate. Uh, it looks pretty much the same. This has the outer braking system, the better IDC5. This one does not. It has a braking system that you can adjust, but not as configurable as this one, or tailor-wise, rather. Uh, what else? Number two, both have the MGL Spool 3. So both have a shallow MGL Spool 3, which is going to reduce weight and be able to use as a versatile model. However, the SLX DC has the ports in it. I know it's not a big, big deal, but you got two ports here. That's going to reduce weight and help with drainage, I guess, if you want to put it that way. Where I know you can't see this, but the SLX DC 2023 does not have any ports whatsoever. And I know it's covered with Veribus line, but you just got to believe me on that, all right? That's another big difference. Uh, number three, it's going to be the IDC um, braking system, electronic braking system for both. Once again, the SLX DC XT has a IDC, IDC 5, excuse me, that's uh, straight from the Calcutta DC model. And the Shimano SLX DC 2023 model has the IDC4, which is a step below. It's not going to give you those different configurable ranges for using different lines as in, you know, PE, N, or Fluoro. It doesn't give you that option, but the SLX DC XT does. Number four difference is weight. This weighs 5 grams less or 0.2 ounces less compared to to this model right here and I think it's because of the port right here and also the reason number five it has a smaller handle that's another difference if you can look here let me get them lined up give me a second here if you look right here you can tell the SLX DC is a hair bit wider if you look at the handle right there I think that's where the weight reduction is going to be smaller handle and I honestly I think the IDC5 weighs a little bit more compared to the IDC4. Uh, however, they're, you know, porting the, the spool, making a smaller handle and uh, to reduce the weight, to counterbalance the weight rather. So yeah, those are the main differences. Price-wise, once again, this runs 200 bucks. This runs $160. So are those five differences that I just announced worth the $40 difference to you? That's gonna be up to you to decide. In my opinion, in my honest opinion, you can't go wrong with any of these reels, whether you get this reel or this reel, just depending on your applications, what you're going to use, your budget. For me personally, I like to throw smaller lures, so I'd be leaning more towards the DC XT versus the plain DC. Now, your miles may vary. Once again, if you don't care about throwing 3 16 ounce, maybe you want to just stick with a quarter ounce jig head and you don't want to go any lower than the DC might be good enough for you and you're saving 40 bucks which you can apply to an old 18 rod so really it's going to be your call are those five differences between these models worth it so what do you guys think do you like the new slx dcxt or would you rather spend less money on the slx dc there's a lot of new features that the slx dcxt has compared to the slx dc but is it worth the price difference i don't know let me know in the comments i would really like to hear your opinion on the matter. I myself, personally, my opinion, I feel like both reels are freaking awesome for the price point. That's the reason why SLX model and the Shimano lineup is one of their best selling in the history of Shimano, rightfully so. You're getting so much for so much bang for the buck, right? But let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Are you gonna pick up the SLX DCXT? 
or you're going to get the SLX DC. We're going to get something else. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your opinion. If you guys haven't yet, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment once again. Thank you so much, guys. I love every single one of you, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.